Hello, welcome back to the Simplify the Cal TPA overview of the purpose of the Cal TPA. As we've discussed in previous videos, there are four pieces to the Cal TPA. The first part is planning. Planning, knowing your students' assets and learning needs so that you can provide accommodation supports and explanations for how you are going to support all students. Part two, teach. Teach the lessons and then part three, reflect on how the lesson went. And lastly, apply. What did you learn from the lesson and the student outcomes that allows you to apply to the next steps? A review of concepts that they were still struggling with or are you ready to move on and go to the next thing in the content or the next deeper level of understanding? Today, we're going to be talking about the teach piece. In the previous lesson, we talked about planning your lesson and doing all the pieces that you need to include in your lesson plan, right? How those lesson plans are set up and what you need to do to be successful in setting up the stage for your lesson. Today, we're gonna be talking about those videos and those annotations, right? The videos are specific pieces of the big lesson that the assessors are focusing on for the cycle that you're working on. They're the elements that they want to see you highlight in your instruction. So you are going to clip no more than five minute videos of the essential elements listed in the teach section of your assessment guide. And then you're going to annotate them on a separate piece of paper. <laughs> And you are going to find the timestamp that that specific thing happened, and you're going to tell what happened and why. The annotations let the assessor know that you can describe the purpose of the strategies that you're using, right? So what did you do and why did you do it? You have a thousand characters. Use them if you can or if you need to. You can write an annotation for as many, or you can write as many annotations as you need to cover the constructs or descriptors in the rubrics. So go into your rubrics, think about what you have that aligns with what they're looking for, clip that video clip and annotate it by telling exactly what is happening and why. Using quotes from you and your students is helpful in, in explaining what is happening and then detailing why you chose those strategies or that activity to meet the needs of the elements of the TPA that they're asking for will score you the high levels of the rubric and help you to pass. Listen, the TPA has a lot of specific details and needs for writing. I understand that this assessment in and of itself does not define you as a teacher. It does not say that you will be a good teacher or not a good teacher. You may be a fantastic teacher already, but writing to this assessment is different than anything you've ever done before. And it is okay to not know what to do. I am here for you and I am here to help you. And for that, I have created the Cal TPA All You Need to Succeed video program. This program has been designed to walk you step-by-step step through every element of the TPA, eliminating confusion, providing easy to understand explanations for the questions and examples to follow that are aligned to the rubric so that you know that what you're writing is what they are looking for. No more doing too much work, no more doing too little work, no more guessing. Grab the Cal TPA All You Need to Succeed program and know that I am here to answer your questions in the Cal TPA group in real time while you're working. And it's like having a Cal TPA expert in your pocket while you're working on your own time. So reach out to me. I will get that to you. I look forward to walking you through more of these Simplify the Cal TPA videos so that you can understand the purpose and what we are doing. My name is Keisha and I'm happy to be here with you today. Thank you and have a great day.